Hi guys, Debbie here. I'm coming at you with a little haul from Savers. I went to my Saver local store and um, yeah, I spent $40. So let's get started. The first thing, you guys know I collect rolling pins. So I have, I found this one, different shape which I believe, um, I don't know if these ones are the French or the Italian rolling pins. It don't matter. Um, it has, uh, I guess this is the old tag that they bought it from, but it's a race, I only pay $1.99. So I don't know if I'm gonna DIY it or do something with it, or just leave it natural, roll some oil on it and cure it, and because it doesn't look like they used it at all. It looks like they use it for decoration and that's it. So, but I want to cure, I like curing it, so if I have to use it, I use it these holidays. So, yep, I pay $1.99, so that's that. And uh, I really went looking for Christmas decoration. Let me get a little closer for Christmas decoration and some Christmas things because I wanted a tablecloth for my table and I do have a tree skirt but I found a bigger one for because the one that I was using was for my seven foot tree but you guys know that I have a 10 foot tree so I have 11 feet um, high ceiling so yeah so I found this Plate mats. These are the car the carbo with a cord in the back. So I find this for for two ninety nine, and actually it matches my um, plates that I got, and also matches the new tablecloth that I found. So and this was our this one are from the company Pimperno from Pimperno Animal. I bring it close to you guys, you guys could see it right there. Yep, that's the name. And they're brand new basically. So yeah, got that. So let me put the rubber band right back on it. I do have some like this from last year that I found at the Goodwill. Oh guys, and I also found this angel. I plugged it. I found this angel. It's old. Um, I think it's from like the 80s. Um, they still have the, the instructions in it. They save the instructions. And I think it said 1989 on the paper. So, wait a minute. I saw the... the Actually, 1994. So that's the instructions. The day is right here in the bottom. It's really small. But yeah, I got that. And I plugged the guys. And for my surprise, I was happy that she works. I do usually have a start on my tree. But I think this year I'm going to go with this angel. See? Let me see. See, she looks beautiful. When I was growing up, we had one. Well, not when I was growing up. Yeah, when I was growing up, we had one that uh, their hands moved. So I found her. And then when my when I had my children, I had one that um, the hand moves. And I was looking for something similar. There was one over there, but the hands didn't move, and I didn't like the way she looked. So guys, yep, I got her, and she only cost me. Um, two ninety nine. There's the price. So I was happy to find her. So let me put the paperwork right in here, like that. The single loss. I was surprised that all the lights they do work. So yeah, I got her. And I also found this um, four um, glass. Decorate ornaments. It says for decor glass ornament. And let me open it, guys. Let 
they are very nice. I thought they were shiny brights, but they're not, but I don't care. They look beautiful. See, glass. So, yeah, very nice. Okay, now, it's only one of them is missing the hook, but I don't care about that. I could get some hooks and hook her up. So, and uh, distributed by Earth City, made in China. And yeah, so I found that. And I paid $1.99 for the box. Here it goes. So I'm getting ready to decorate for the holiday. My husband is gonna be, after I'm done with this haul, my husband is gonna be bringing my um, things from the basement. Okay, I got the top. Let's find the bottom. Let's find the bottom. That's not it. Sorry, guys. Oh, well. I find something that is not Christmas related, but I always wanted one. I wanted a milk glass one, but I couldn't find a milk glass one. But guess what, guys? I found a clear one. So, yeah, there she is. Nothing's wrong with her. So, yeah, there she is. And on the nest. And I'm so happy to found her. And I paid $2.99 for her. So, yeah. Very nice. I like it. I'm happy to find her. I never have one. So, yep. I have a little miniature one. So now I wish it's milk glass. She's in my cabinet. So, I got her. And I guess I'm going to put this to the side. When I come out to the bottom, I'll show you guys. And I also found this two candle stick holder with the, I mean, they got four leaves, but it's okay um, for my next full table. So next year, but I want it. I only pay 99 cents for, for it. So 99 cents each. So I got them, so. And you know what, I didn't notice, I thought that I picked them up because they were holly, until I just noticed they're actually full leaf. But it's okay, it still works. Sorry guys, about my, oh no, my hair's not a mess. I thought my hair was a mess, so. Um, I also, you guys know I collect salt and pepper shakers, and my kitchen is the chef theme. So I found this, Salt and pepper shaker, $1.99. And this one, it says made in China. So, yeah, this is still on the original packaging. There it is. They never open them. But guess what, guys? I'm opening them because they're going to my collection in my kitchen. So, and remember, guys, uh, the Thrift Queen is going to be having a Thrift and flip challenge on the 29th of the month. So if you guys wanna participate, go and check it out. She got her video posted for the invitation. I believe it's um, something, no more than $10. You gotta thrift and flip it. So if you wanna participate, go and check out that video. It's gonna be fun. I'm participating. So, here is my, um, one of the chef. So it's a salt and pepper shaker. So they have the stopper. They look like they're from um, Ikea or Dollar Tree, but I don't think Dollar Tree got this because I go to Dollar Tree all the time and they don't have nothing that have to do with the chef. But you yeah, guys, I got this and I like them very much. And here is the other one. So, yeah. Cute. They're pretty big size, pretty decent size. So yeah, let me put them over here. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let me tell you guys, I could, I, I wanted to keep shopping, but I couldn't keep shopping because people don't know no boundaries. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. And I also found two plates. And look, you guys. Yep, 
they look like um, from mid-century. I think they're 1930s. I mean, they have scratches and stuff, but I'm not using, I'm not gonna use them to eat. I'm gonna use this for um, folk tablescapes. But I'm thinking about making a tear tray with this, but I don't want to ruin it. But yeah, I like this. So I got two. Um, they only have two. And I believe I pay $1.99 for both or $2.99 for both, which is not bad. Um, $2.99 for both. Here's the other one. See, this one doesn't have many scratches, but this one does. But anyways, I'm going to use them. I like them. I could also use them as a serving traits. So, yep, let me put this one here. Um, I also found this um, Santa Claus mug. I love it. It's really cute, perfect for the holidays. It has a lot of crazing, so I... I mean, I believe this one is, let me see if I could take out the, you know, they always put their, I paid $1.99 for this one. So, hand wash only, made in China, J. Wester, West, Westergaard. So, yeah, I don't recognize that, um, I don't know, I don't recognize it. Original price was $4.99, compare at $8.99. Usually, um, um, TJ Maxx and places like that got those kind of tags. So, yeah, that's the tag that they have. But it has $4.99. I ripped it up by accident. Oh, there it is. I'll show you guys. See, the, whoever got it paid $4.99 for it. Compare $8.99 and I only pay $1.99 for it. So, yeah, and that's, let me see if I could take out now. That's the label, like that you guys could see. Mm. Um, to perfect in, I don't know, Jeff, Jeff International Hand Wash Only. I'm not, but I didn't bought this mug to be used. It's just for decoration purposes to see all the crazing inside. So I don't care about that because I may put like a little um, flowers coming out of it for Christmas decoration. So yep, I got him. And I also got, I found mini, another mini set of salt and pepper shakers. They were $1.99 also. Um, and these ones are little piggies, which they were so cute. They are so cute, actually. These ones are Vantage, they're made in Japan. So there is the Japan. Sorry about my nail, guys. I still haven't got them done. So, yep, that's the Japan stickers. See right there, Japan. And they have the cork stopper, which is good. And this is what they look like. That's the little faces right there. See, that's what they look like. And yep, for my salt and pepper shaker collection. So, yep, that's that. And I'm coming to my last thing in here. Oh, here's the. This is the mug. So, this is the part that I was saying, guys. There it is. Look at how cute. For my son's when he got, when he had his hot cocoa, this is gonna go in his hot cocoa station. So, I like the buttons. They're so cute. And this one, I pay 99 cents for him. 99 cents and I don't think it has any oh yeah it does have something underneath and this one says Debbie mom designed exclusively for Boston warehouse made in China Debbie mom I'm Deborah everybody calls me Debbie <laughs> so look at that Debbie mom m-u-m-m so, yep, for my grandson, 
for his hot cocoa and marshmallow. Well, guys, um, let's, let's see if I have anything else. I'm going to take this newspaper because I'm going to start decorating and putting stuff away. Oh, now let's get to the tree, the tree skirt that I found. I got to get off of this one. Look at how nice. It's big. This um, the original color, red and green. And it has the things here to connect. And guys, the price, $4.99, which was awesome. Great price. If I had to buy it at the store, it would have cost me at least 20 or maybe more. So, yep, that's great price for that one. And then I was looking for a round tablecloth, a Christmas round tablecloth. So I found one and I love it. Look at guys, look at this. That's the middle, that's the center of it. See, it matched with the, you know, let's see if it matches. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Does it match? Kind of, right? I'll make it work. But yeah, guys. Look at it. Very nice. The hollies and the plates that I got. So it's going to look nice. I can't wait to do a tablescape to show you guys. And I was looking for the tag to see if it said where it was made, but... You can tell it's new, it's not an old tablecloth, so that's that one. And then I found a humongous, a long, long one. So, oh, this one cost me, let's see guys, let's see, I can't remember. I think it was like $3.99 or so. Oh, here it is, here's the tag. This one cost me $3.99. So, yeah, that's that. And then the red one, which I always wanted a red one. You guys can see the pattern. It's nice, the Christmas, it has hollies. It has, I mean, look at, look at that, guys. Beautiful, no stains, no holes, no tears, nothing. And this one cost me, I believe four or five ninety nine. Let's double check to make sure. Uh, oh no, this one also cost me three ninety nine. So this one cost me three ninety. Yep, yeah, this one. They both cost me three ninety nine each. So guys, what do you think? It needs big, like the lace one that I have right now on my fold table. I still have my fold table up. So guys, my last thing. I find a bag of fruits, so I do like my fruits, my whole fruits, to do my breakfast table. Um, I don't know what this is, but this looks like um, a fruit that we have in Puerto Rico called quenepas. That's what they look like, but yep, I got those. And then, actually this is supposed to be grapes because I just picked this up and the, thin, the stem fell off. So this was right here. Yeah. Oh, it finished falling off. It came out of the cord, but that's okay. I could get that fixed. So yeah, here's, um, it's supposed to uh, seemingly like the big grapes, do you know how they got the big red grapes and the green ones? So yeah, there's that. And these are wood. And then of course I have an apple. No, this is supposed to be a tomato. I believe this is a tomato. If anybody knows, let me know. See the tip, I think it's a tomato. And then I have the little um, oranges. So, yeah, that's that. And of course, I have a pear. This is a candle. Yep, this is the candle right there. 
So, yep, it's a candle. It has glitter on it. So, yeah, that's that. And then another orange. Mandarin, that's what it's supposed to look like. Mandarin oranges. So, yep. Guys, that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it too. Oh, and I also stopped at um, Family Dollar. And Joanne, if you're watching this video, you could go to um, Family Dollar. If you have a Family Dollar with you at, they have the gnomes. They have different color gnomes. So, yeah, they have red. They have um, the one that you were looking for. Um, and guys, I also find this, the lights. Um, Family Dollar has the lights at 25% off. So I found this little um, light. I only paid $2. They were $2.75 and I only paid $2. And so is this one. This one was 100 lights. And I only also, I they were $2.75. Right there is the price on top and I only paid $2. And then I'm looking for a tear tray that I actually could have on my counter because my counters are, you know, I got the cabinets on the top. And I also got me this to put on the tear tray. And this one lights up and it changed color. See? So for $1 for the holidays, you can beat that. So, guys, now I could actually say that's the end of my haul. And I'm going to leave it right there. Guys, please, whatever you do, stay safe because this thing is rising like wildfire. And remember, be safe. Use your sanitizer. Use your mask. And overall, stay safe. And like I always say, don't forget to smile. Be kind to one another. Don't do what you don't like to have done. And remember, God loves you, and I do too. Bye, guys.